Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. I have a little story to share with you late in the night right now or early in the morning depending on where you live. A year ago I went to a place called Pack South with a bunch of other YouTubers like Nexpo, Lowy Lane, Night Docs, and, and Blame It On Jorge. And over here I actually did end up losing my virginity to a character named Hero Brian. but most importantly I bought a game called Ghost Runner. I actually have the Steam CD key that I bought from the developers in my hand right now. And I actually really enjoyed this game out of my entire time. I mean, I really had this choice to buy or Hello Neighbor. Now, this story basically involves me buying this game and it finally coming out. As you know, I love anything cyberpunk related, so I was ready to give these guys my life savings and even my blood work and possibly some sperm vials just so I could play this game. And it finally came out. And I came across one boss that was absolutely butt-fucking me for about 30, maybe 40 minutes until I finally realized that I didn't activate Windows and I decided to actually get good. It's not that I couldn't buy a Windows CD key. Of course, I can always just go to eBay and get scammed <laughs> for like $5. Oh, wait, this one's from France? Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Time to get scammed up. Now, here I actually did get good, so I'm going to show you a montage of gameplay. So let's get started, shall we? Welcome to Amiya Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. Lord, now you can take us down. Now, if you thought I had problems now, God decided to come down and actually reprogram the game and introduce these, like, giant walls of fire that would constantly go, go into the level. I mean, it wasn't hard enough dodging lasers at Mach 5 that could one-hit you. Now we have to do that, and we also have to dodge all this shit at the same time. But like I said, I'm a gamer, okay? So I decided to take that G Fuel enema and decide to go all the way to the top once again. Have a safe trip. systems were placed at every elevator station so that nobody could so that nobody could enter Dharma City without my approval. You were expecting an uprising? I was prepared for an uprising. Now, like every good skull fucking, there's always a third step to the process, and this one was probably the hardest of them all. Just because I died, like, for eight solid minutes at this point, I did cut it out, just so you don't have to also, you know, face insanity with me. But the whole concept over here was to also dodge the lasers and to time it with this fucking giant ball of, like, fire that was underground. 
And, uh, yeah, that was effectively what it came down to. So, you know, I did the best I could. You can see a little cut over here, but eventually I made it as a gamer. So I just want you to see these skills right here. The core is now exposed. You'll be able to shut it down good. If you can get close enough, that is. Anyways, but this is all I really have to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Cyberpunk is delayed, but this game really isn't. It's awesome. I highly recommend you go check it out on Steam. I'm having a blast. So yeah, that being said, peace out. Hope you have a great day. Yes.